Welcome! This video series will provide an overview of advanced settings available on your Fusion Control Panel software. We will start with the System tab and cover the Zone tabs in a second video. Before we begin, you'll need to install the Control Panel software, which is provided free with your controller. Then connect to the powered controller with a USB cable. Open the control panel and click the connect button. Now we'll go over different advanced options under the system tab. The run logic option controls polarity of pin 7 and pin 9. By default, the logic is set to close for run. Toggling this option back and forth is the equivalent of opening and closing the run reset. This next option is specifically for three-phase controllers with four-wire Y or inside delta loads. Otherwise, it will not appear on your control panel. This option is specified at order time as it requires a specific internal wire harness. If you would like this option, contact Control Concepts. Next, we'll look at Hero Mode. Now with Hero Mode enabled, the controller will continue running in the event of an overtemp condition. By default, this feature is disabled, but you can enable it with SP84 or with this field on the control panel. You'll receive a warning that doing so will void controller warranty. Click OK if you wish to continue. You can set different relay alarms from the zone tabs. We'll go over this with more detail in our next video. With regards to Hero Mode, just know that if a relay mask has heat sink over temp selected, the relay will energize. Inhibit alarms will still indicate the overtemp condition. But your controller will stay in a run state and the display and the indicator LEDs will register a warning alarm instead of an inhibit alarm. Hero Mode is not available on all firmware versions, so contact Control Concepts with questions about this feature and new firmware releases. If you're using SyncGuard across multiple zero-cross controllers, you might enable SyncGuard Resistor to do load balancing. Typically, customers with networks of controllers have this setting enabled on the master and disabled on the others. We've covered analog setpoints in an earlier video, so let's move on to these relay alarms. These are processor or system level alarms, and you can map to either relay 1 or relay 2. For example, if we mark the checkbox for PLL lock loss, an alarm is output to the relay if the controller is unable to synchronize with the mains line frequency. In run state indicates that the controller is in a true run state as opposed to a stop or fault state, and run enable is a pass through for pin 9, it mirrors its input. So if pin 9 is open, the relay is open, and vice versa. Here in the corner, you'll find our contact information and a link to the Control Concepts website. And this icon opens WebEx. We use this tool for troubleshooting a controller online with a laptop connected to the controller in the field. For more information, you can check out our other video tutorials, download the Control Panel Manual from our website at www.cci.power.com or contact the experts directly at Control Concepts Incorporated.